हाय गाइस वेलकम टू सी ए इंटर फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट एम सी क्यूज और एम इज टू बी कवरिंग एवरी पॉसिबल एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम द मॉड्यूल वन दैट इज डन विल बी डूइंग आर ओन एम सी क्यूज ऑल्सो ऑल द एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द मॉड्यूल ऑफ कॉस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट पेपर फोर ऑफ सी इंटर आर ऑलरेडी देयर ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल अरेंज प्ले लिस्ट मैनर नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर अस टू बी डूइंग फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट एम सी क्यूज द चैप्टर दैट वी ऑल हैव सिलेक्टेड इज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल लेट मी जस्ट रिमाइंड यू ऑल आर अपडेट्स आर अवेलेबल ऑन आर टेलीग्राम चैनल रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू ज्वाइन एंड फॉर एनी बडी हु इज लुकिंग टू ज्वाइन आर रेगुलर कोर्सेज द लिंक इज देयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो लेट सी वट एवर इज अ क्वेश्चन टूडे विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल रिक्वायर्स एडजस्टिंग टैक्सेस टैक्सेस मीन्स इनकम टैक्स आई गेस सो four options cost of equity shares cost of preference shares then cost of debentures or cost of retained earnings now this simple think of all your formulas and comment your answer below please this is easy easy do it fast now so your time is over you would have commented below let's continue with the explanation now see now <coughs> ke that you all calculate those that was the first option right if you issue equity shares what do you have to pay dividend if you issue preference shares also what do you pay dividend dividend is always paid after payment of income tax i'll repeat this sentence dividend is always made out of the profits which are left after paying income tax so therefore no adjustment is required why because all the costs that are calculated whether it is kd ke kr kp whatever are always calculated after paying taxes in practical world it is always thought that tax is an expense you still have to be paying it whatever happens so all the cost of capital are always calculated post tax post tax okay now think for debentures for debentures whenever you issue debentures what do you pay interest beta but interest is always paid before tax it is an expense it is not appropriation it is an expense so therefore if you pay interest money goes out but there is one advantage also what is that advantage the advantage is that if you pay interest you save income tax sir how do we save it because if you are going to be paying interest your profit before tax will fall your taxes will also be falling so therefore you will have done formula of kd KD formula is interest into one minus tax upon net proceeds. Of course, objective is to find out cost of debt after tax, and that is why in the numerator you all have interest into one minus tax. That is after considering the tax savings. What is the net interest cost divided by the amount of capital that you had got whenever you issued the debentures? It's a simple thing. You have to be finding out cost beta. Think of the capital that you got. That is nothing but the denominator. Numerator is nothing but your net interest cost because if you pay interest, the money goes out, but then you save some part of it in form of income tax savings. Okay. If ever debt is uh, redeemable, then the formula becomes interest into one minus tax plus R V minus N P upon N divided by N P plus R V upon two. This is a shortcut formula. To be very honest, okay, you can solve the same thing by using. the ytm method yield to maturity method i i cannot be explaining that thing in the mcqs okay but we will have done that particular thing in the class okay so out of all the things only debentures will require adjustment of taxes all others in any case are always after tax so answer should be c over here that's the correct answer i'll see you all next time bye take care